Preparation of ammonium metavanidate from vanadium metal. Attention, especially in molten conditions, sodium hydroxide is extremely caustic. Sodium and ammonium metavanidate are toxic, can cause irritation of the skin and life-threatening irritation of the lungs when inhaled. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. Vanadium is a shiny metal which forms an oxide layer after a while. It is used in alloys and famous for its colored oxidation states. 1 gram of vanadium and 1.6 grams of sodium hydroxide are added to a nickel crucible. A porcelain crucible can also be used, but this will react with the sodium hydroxide and decrease the yield. In addition to that, an etched crucible will break easier. Now the crucible is heated with a Bunsen burner. At the beginning the mixture foams a lot because water evaporates from the sodium hydroxide. This is why the scale of the reaction should be adapted to the size of the crucible. When the sodium hydroxide had reacted a large part of the vanadium was still visible, so another gram of sodium hydroxide was added. The vanadium is oxidized by the oxygen from the air, so vanadium 5 oxide is formed. This can react with the sodium hydroxide to form sodium metavanidate. At the end, the heating is stopped and the mixture is left until it has cooled down. Next, the mixture is dissolved in water where the following method can be used to work faster. Some water is added and then the crucible is heated carefully above the Bunsen burner until the water is hot but not boiling. The hot suspension is then filtered directly. This step is repeated until all of the mixture is dissolved or the pieces of unreacted vanadium can be moved freely. Then a saturated solution of 3.5 grams of ammonium chloride and water is added to the filtrate. Now an ion exchange reaction takes place where the sodium metavanidate reacts with the ammonium chloride to form sodium chloride and ammonium metavanidate. The latter has very low solubility. In addition to that, sodium hydroxide and ammonium chloride react to form small amounts of ammonia. Until the ammonium metavanidate has precipitated out of the solution it takes about 3 hours. After that the product can be filtered off and washed with ethanol. The amount of ammonium metavanidate in the filter was extremely low, so a large amount of ethanol was added to the filtrate to cause all dissolved salts to precipitate. Those were washed three times with water and then with ethanol, which highly increased the yield. The low yield can be caused by the ammonium metavanidate being more soluble in diluted ammonia solution. Point 0.38 grams of the vanadium did not react, but those can be used again. 0.9 grams of ammonium metavanidate were obtained, which is a yield of 63%. To test the vanadate, a small amount of sodium hydroxide is dissolved in some water. Then a small amount of ammonium metavanadate is added and the solution is heated. When the solution is acidified with concentrated hydrochloric acid, the characteristic color of vanadium in the oxidation state plus 5 becomes visible. By adding zinc, the vanadium can be reduced from the yellow vanadium plus 5 to the blue vanadium plus 4. The vanadium plus 4 is then reduced to the green vanadium plus 3. This is then reduced to the purple vanadium plus 2. This was the preparation of ammonium metavanadate. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment.